Good morning, y'all. This is View from the Pew. It is Tuesday morning, October 27th, 2020. Let me make a couple of announcements real quick in case you don't know. We've moved Hoot and Holler and Hayride from Wednesday night to Sunday evening at 4.30 p.m. We'll have all the same things going on, but the hurricane that's looking like it's going to be right on top of us Wednesday evening will have moved through at that point in time, and it'll be not a lot cooler, a lot clearer, it'll be a lot nicer. So just remind folks about that if you get a chance, 4.30 p.m. And also with regard to prayer meeting tomorrow night, we'll let you know something tomorrow on that, but we'll just have to see. That's sort of a little bit of a game time decision, depending on the weather. So let me share with you this command from Christ that he gives. It's simply this, learn to discern the end times. Learn to discern the end times. Now, we know that we can't know exactly what's going to happen. We've already been told that by our Lord at points in times in his word when he says, no man knows the hour or the day or things like that. But that doesn't mean you can't know some things. And Jesus is in the midst with this Olivet Discourse of telling his followers about end times. I don't believe it only applies to what happened in 70 AD with the siege of the Romans with regard to Jerusalem. I believe it speaks of events beyond that as well. So I want you to listen to his words. This is a command, learn, learn to discern the end times. And he's sharing with them a little brief parable, a little brief story or a picture. And a parable is always a story thrown alongside of a truth to help you understand the truth. So here's what Jesus says, and it's a command to his followers. He's just finished telling them about his return, coming in the clouds of heaven, in power and great glory, and talking about him sending his angels, gathering the elect from the four winds, which is actually a promise stated, and this is in verse 31 of chapter 24, a promise that's actually stated back earlier in Scripture in the books of Exodus and Deuteronomy, calling back his people to their homeland. But listen to what he says. He says in 32, 33, 34, and 35, he says, Now learn this parable from the fig tree. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. Okay, so just get that picture. Some of you have had gardens. We've all been outside and we've seen trees begin to turn and we know that trees begin to turn. We know fall is near. We know cooler weather is near. We know that when certain things happen with trees and flowers and plants, that certain things are on the horizon. They may not be directly related, but they are related to some degree. So you know if this happens, you know that this is close. So that's what he's saying, discern these end times things. I'm telling you. I'm telling you about all these things that are happening with the abomination of desolation, fleeing to the mountains, don't believe everything you hear about me. When these things begin to happen, know that my coming kingdom is near. So he says, so you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near, and the it there is the kingdom. The it there is the kingdom. That's what he's talking about. Know that the kingdom is near, it's at the doors. Now that doesn't mean we know the exact hour or day but we can know it's close any moment, fixing to happen because of all the signs. So what he's saying to them is discern, learn to discern the end times. There are some things we can know. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Now, some people have translated that to mean the generation that comes back into Israel. I don't believe it means that. I believe it speaks of a generation that fights against Christ and his gospel because he uses the term generation in that sense in the end of chapter 23 when he says this generation has killed all the prophets from Abel to Zechariah. And so God says there's going to be, Jesus says there's going to be this fight against the Messiah and his gospel until he returns. This generation shall not pass away. But here's the good news. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass, pass away. My words will by no means pass away. You know what that means? 
you take it to the bank. You can take it to the bank. What Jesus is telling you, discern the end times. Learn to discern the end times. You're not going to know the exact date. There's no way you can do some special Bible math and figure it out. But you can look at the, the fig tree, or you can look at any plant, and know that when it gets to a certain point, other things are going to happen as well. There is a corollary. It's not causal, but there's a corollary. So learn that. Learn that. That's why we're living in the last days. That's why we could very well be in these perilous times, as Paul said in 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 9. So learn to discern the end times. Pray God blesses you today if you're in the path of this storm in southern Louisiana or south Mississippi. I pray for your protection during this time. We know God's in control. He's the God over the storms. And we'll let you know as soon as possible on Wednesday night prayer meeting. We'll just see how things go. But if we do meet, if we do meet, we'll let you know for certain tomorrow morning, and it'll be 6.15 p.m. We'll be doing our Bible study. So God bless you. Pray you have a great day. And let us learn to discern the end times because here's the deal. Jesus is coming again.